Welcome to Overthinking Eurovision. I'm Matt Rather. Bulgaria is on a roll. They didn't make the finals from 2008 through 2013, and then they took 2014 and 2015 for little me time. Or as I like to say, B time. <laughs> Now, they meditated, they ate some good food, they learned to trust their heart again. Wait, wait, no, sorry, that was Julia Roberts and Eat, Pray, Love. In any case, they returned to the contest in 2016, and it was a whole new Bulgaria. If Love Was a Crime came in fourth place, their best finish ever. However, we just have to point out that the title really should be If Love Were a Crime. Ah, oh, quite right, quite right. Because the scenario is imaginary, or as it is termed in grammar, a condition contrary to fact, the verb must be conjugated in the subjunctive mood. Here is a demonstration. If I were a rich man. If I were a boy. How I wish, how I wish you were here. In 2017, Bulgaria actually improved on its 2016 performance, finishing second behind Portugal. You guys, if Bulgaria keeps up this trend, they'll finish in zeroth place this year. Bulgaria's 2018 song is Bones, from the group Equinox, but we weren't originally planning to overthink it as part of this series. Pro tip, if you want to lose our interest real fast, make your official video a lyric video. And then came March 20th, when the Eurovision YouTube channel posted this. Today is the day we reach the equinox, when light balances with dark, day balances with night, and we move forward into the hope and expectation of a new season. Guys, equinox is a cool sounding name for a band, but you're embracing the theme a little hard. I mean, you don't see ACDC timing their album releases to Thomas Edison's birthday, or the Bare Naked Ladies producing videos for Pornhub. This is the day we would like to present to you the Bulgarian artists who are part of the group Equinox, who will perform Bones in Lisbon. I'm sorry, but you simply cannot tack on two adjectival clauses in a row. Try it this way. We would like to present to you Equinox, the Bulgarian artist who will perform Bones in Lisbon. Ah, much clearer. Anyway, this little astronomical tie-in was cute enough to get us curious. And then we found out that two of the five singers are actually Americans. You have my curiosity, but now you have my attention. Okay, let's do this to the Wikipedia mobile. According to Wikipedia, Equinox is a Bulgarian supergroup. Okay, whoa, slow your roll, Wikipedia. Supergroup is a strong word. In our book, each member of a true supergroup has to be a star in his or her own right. Now, in our Netherlands video, we talked about The Highwaymen, a country music supergroup consisting of Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson, Chris Christofferson, and Johnny Cash. Or look at the Planeteers. Each of those kids could do some serious serious damage on his own, except for the heart kid, who is completely useless. So if Equinox really is a supergroup, then these five are going to have to impress the hell out of us. Jana Bergendorf is the lady in the white pageboy wig, and she has logged some serious frequent flyer miles. She was born in Bulgaria and moved to South Korea at the age of 18 to break into the K-pop scene. Then she fell in love with a Danish guy, moved to Denmark, competed on Denmark X Factor, and then jetted back east to win Bulgarian X Factor in 2013. Guys, can we make a rule that once you compete on one X Factor, you can't then just jump from country to country competing on other X Factors, or at the very least, you should get one X factor per X chromosome. Jana, you're at your limit, okay? Then there's Georgi Simenov. For you, I can be just JJ. I'm not really sure where he got JJ from since there's not even one J in his name, much less two. Anyway, JJ was part of a Bulgarian boy band called 032. This was very exciting news to us because boy bands are usually hilarious. But then we searched for 032 band on YouTube and we instead found this Polish folk rock band. <laughs> I mean, what were the odds that there are multiple bands named 032? I mean, with the zero before the three, what the hell is going on here? But we kept searching for the Bulgarian 032, and we found a song they submitted as Bulgaria's Eurovision entry way back in 2011. So 
So congrats, JJ, you finally made it to the big dance. Vlado Mikhailov's bio is potentially the most exciting of all. I mean, sure, he was the lead singer of two Bulgarian rock bands, he was a backup singer for last year's Bulgarian Eurovision Act, and he was an actor in some of Bulgaria's biggest movies. But never mind that stuff. The thing that got us most excited is that he does the Bulgarian dubbing for the Muppets. As Kermit would say, ah! But then we went to Vlado's IMDb page, and there's no Muppet stuff on there. So either the Equinox Wikipedia page is a mountain of filthy lies, or Vlado's agent needs to update IMDb stat. Bulgarians watching this, if it is true that Vlado does a Muppet voice, we need details in the comments. Please be the Swedish chef. Please be the Swedish chef. And that brings us to the two Americans. Johnny Manuel had a viral moment in the summer of 2017 after appearing on a competition show called America's Got Talent and channeling the ghost of Whitney Houston. Sadly, Johnny was eliminated in the semifinals. I know you're thinking, wow, whoever eliminated that guy must be an unbelievable singer. But keep in mind that America's Got Talent isn't a singing competition per se. This was the eventual winner. What would you do if I sing at a and finally, Wikipedia tells us that Trey Campbell is a Los Angeles-based songwriter and one of the composers of Bones and an important part of Equinox. Okay, first of all, I'm really tempted to put the blazer back on because that sentence needs help. And second, the fact that his bio was suspiciously short and specifically assured us that he's an important part of Equinox made us suspect that he might not be an important part of Equinox after all. I mean, methinks the Wikipedia doth protest too much. But Trey turns out to be the only member of Equinox that's credited as one of the songwriters. And when we finally saw the live performance of Bones in early April, it turns out that Trey sings the first verse solo, which kind of does make him an important part of Equinox. Sorry we doubted you, man. So here is the star-spangled question. How do we feel about these Americans competing in Eurovision this year? And the surprising answer is not great. Yes, we have often fantasized about America competing in Eurovision, and by America I mean me, but if America did compete, you can be damn sure our act would feature only American citizens. And the whole point of Eurovision is to give countries a chance to show off their homegrown talent. Sure, in recent years more and more nations have been turning to international songwriting teams, and by international I do mean Swedish, but at least the singers are usually from the country they represent. If you recruit talent from abroad, then what are your viewers actually rooting for? You're actually rooting for the clothes when you get right down to it. Eurovision becomes like a professional sports league where none of the players are from the cities they play for, uh, for which they play. Nearly had to blazer myself. And if you want to see what happens when this is taken to its grim conclusion, just look at San Marino. This year they announced instead of looking for a San Marinese singer, they were launching a worldwide talent search. We are looking for the internet candidate and the official representative for San Marino to sing at Eurovision 2018. They actually declared that their act was going to be the internet candidate, literally giving up any pretense that it would represent their nation in any meaningful way, which makes it painfully ironic ironic that the song is called Who We Are. We are who we are, and who we are is who we wanna be. No, that is not who you are, San Marino. That is a Maltese woman and a German woman. Where the hell is Valentina? Get this, they couldn't even use backup dancers from San Marino. They outsourced to robots. So this is like a, like a Rupert Murdoch nightmare of globalism run amok. And you know the saddest part? They have no better chance of winning Eurovision with this act than they would have had with a random citizen of San Marino beatboxing for three minutes. So Bulgaria, while we're honored that you're bringing Americans to Eurovision, we're pretty sure you have a lot of amazing singers back in Sofia, and we just wish you'd give it two of them a shot instead. Well guys, that's Equinox, and that's all the time we have, so we'll see you next time. What? What's... Oh, we haven't talked about the song? Like, at all? 
Uh, okay, here's the quick version. It's about liking someone for who they are on the inside rather than what's on the surface. So it's actually kind of like the complete inverse of Ed Sheeran's shape of you. Like I literally couldn't care less about the shape of you. I, I don't even notice the shape of you. As befits its international roster, Bones has a unique East meets West style. The drums, bass, and synth mix on the chorus could be straight out of any dance club on the planet. But either JJ or Vlado is doing this falsetto wailing thing. So... We don't know Bulgarian music well enough to say if it's a traditional style of singing, but it certainly feels like it might be. It's a unique song, and it seems even more unique in a year where a lot of the more popular Eurovision entries are kind of bright and bubblegummy, for better or worse. I mean, I'm looking at you, Israel, Czech Republic, and Australia. There's no doubt that these five are capable of some serious vocal pyrotechnics. And you know what? Two years ago, Dami M delivered a powerhouse performance in the live show and nearly won the whole thing. Bones could dominate the jury vote in the same way. So keep your eyes on Bulgaria, guys. They've assembled their group. Now it's time to see how super it is. Or as Vlado might say, Please be the Swedish chef. Please be the Swedish chef. Thanks for watching. Check out some of our other videos and be sure to subscribe to this channel for all the latest from Eurovision and beyond.